Thank You've got you. your clothes on at the moment. <laughs> at the moment. Yes. For how the time being. How much have you had your clothes off getting preparation for this preparation. role? A lot. A lot. We've got to know each other very well over the last few weeks. <laughs> Where were these rehearsals? How were we, <laughs> <laughs> we, they, they, we kept changing locations, didn't we? Had very, locations. very secret locations, yeah. yeah. Did you rehearse your show in fr front of kind of trial audiences? Yeah, so we, um, as part of the documentary, which we, you will see tonight, we, um, we went to the Shire Green Working Men's Club. Sound nervous even thinking about it for the, <laughs> for, the, for the first time, and it's the first time we went fully naked in front of them. 250. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and some of, the, some of the girls that were there were in the actual audience of the film because they just they did the same thing. They asked people from the surrounding area. So did you, did you do the full Monty, Mark? We did the full Monty, yeah. Wow. Yeah. I, mean, I mean, I spent half my life in a pair of swimming trunks, so that wasn't really a big deal. <laughs> <laughs> Trust me, it was a big deal. <laughs> not not yeah. like that. Um, <laughs> but it's one of these weird things that you rehearse and rehearse and rehearse, and you sort of going, we're going to do this, going to do this. But until the actual one when the music started, and we went, it was like I sent a guy, it's like bungee jumping. Once you step off, you've, you've gone. So the music started, and Matthew walks out first in Sheffield, and you're like, there's, there's no turning back now. That's it. Now. Yeah. And all of a sudden, you're, you're just, your adrenaline just went through. What's the most nerve wracking bit? The actual full Monty bit, or the dance routine, or getting your kit off? I, think we're, I think we're all so nervous about getting it right, getting the dance routine right for Ashley. Ashley Banjo choreographed it. Mm. We wanted that to be spot on for him. And I think the stripping kind of came a second, really, to mm. us, didn't it? And by the time it got to us doing it in front of the audience in Sheffield, um, that was the least of our worries, really, getting throwing the hat away and being fully naked <laughs> yeah. in front of um, it. How was... long were you... did that moment last? Well, we, they said, when you throw the hat away... <laughs> For some more than when others, you really. throw that away, can you, can you hold it, please? Because we want the iconic hold what? shot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Not the hat. We, we want the iconic shot of your, all your bums from behind. So they said, please don't do it, and then cover run it off. And run off. So we were kind of stood there for a good five, six oh, seconds. No. Is it quite liberating? Just, it was yeah. very liberating. But there is, actually, there yeah. is, Mark, a very serious message behind this. The reason that Ale was... Alexander Armstrong got you all together, because yeah. there's, there's a serious message, isn't it? It's there? all about raising awareness about um, prostate and testicular cancer and men's health issues and our. Our big problem is with men, I know you women are different, we're not very good at talking about things. So we're trying to raise awareness, get people to get themselves checked out if they think it's a problem, and get guys to talk about it. We're very good at talking about you know, fear, football. football, cars. It's actually like, well, mental health is a big issue. And actually, and if you get someone early enough, it can save a life. And your character, Matthew, David yeah. Metcalf in Emmerdale, he has been through this, hasn't he? So you've yeah. obviously done a lot of research behind this. Well, lots of research behind it, and that's, that's the reason why I did the documentary. At first, when I got asked to do it, they just said, will you do a strip, the Full Monty strip in front of the Palladium mm. audience? And I said, absolutely not, no chance. <laughs> and then I saw the television the day after and Ashley and Alexander were on the sofa on this morning mm. and they said that it was for testicular and prostate cancer and it was kind of a no-brainer to me. Then mm. I, I, I rang back and I said, I want to do it. 100%. Why? Yeah, well done.